This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. So in John chapter 12, uh, this uh, beginning with verse 12, uh, Jesus has come back. He's just had this dinner uh, that was in his honor and really kind of in the honor of Lazarus also, uh, kind, of a, uh, kind of a celebration of something miraculous that had happened. And now uh, it's just a, uh, just a few days before the Passover, and it's time to go to Jerusalem for the Passover. And so in, in verse 12, we read, The next day the large crowd that had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. And so they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet Him, crying out, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. Now that's really important to catch uh, that what they were saying. Uh, the word Hosanna means uh, save or save us now. That, that's what the word means. And so what they, were, what they were declaring was that the Messiah had come to save them, to rescue them. And blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord is, is uh, something that you say to a king. And they called him the king of Israel. It's really important to pick up on what they were saying. Now, we're going to take a couple of Sundays to study the meaning of all of this. Uh, and when you first look at the triumphant injury, by the way, one I forgot to say this. Doug uh, just got back, had surgery, successful surgery, and so we have a praise the Lord that Doug is doing well. Everything turned out good, and so we're praising the Lord for you, Doug. Praising the Lord that took care of you. Uh, so okay, so here we are in John chapter 12. The the uh, we have the story of the triumphant injury, uh, injury, <laughs> triumphant entry. <laughs> triumphant entry. And uh, uh, I, I look at that thing, and I've for years I've looked at it, and I thought, I don't get this. What's the point of the triumphant entry? So, I, I mean, when you look at it, it just seems kind of odd. Jesus hops on a donkey and rides into Jerusalem, and the crowd goes wild. What's that all about? Um, we refer to it as the triumphal entry, but what's so triumphant about riding into Jerusalem on a donkey? I mean, a king would have at least ridden in on a horse or a chariot. You know, there would have been some pomp and circumstance involved there. And he would, there would have been this declaration that he is the king. And, and yes, it does fulfill a prophecy in, in Zechariah, but they hadn't put that together. The people didn't really see that. They didn't understand that. We don't, in fact, it tells us that the disciples hadn't put two and two together. They didn't figure that out until later. Why was this such a big deal? Well, it really begins with understanding how desperate the people were for change. The people wanted a king. They wanted the Messiah. They wanted somebody to come in and free them. Now, I'm not talking that they were necessarily looking for uh, political change, although that was certainly part of it. But the people were ready for something good to happen to them, collectively and individually. People... We're ready for change. Pretty much the way it is today. Pretty much the way it is today. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for watching. We hope it was a blessing.